Hello, and we are back with another example on your conversion of your units using your dimensional analysis. For this example, we will be converting 10.0 kilometers per liter in miles per gallon. So the units are shown here. And of course, we always start with our equivalent statements. We need to identify them first, and they are the following. One mile is equal to 1.609 kilometers, and the other one is... One gallon is equal to 3.785 liters. Okay, again, this value of the liters in the gallon form is one of the many values for your gallon. As you already know that you have the U.S. gallon, the U.S. dry and wet gallon. We have also the imperial gallons. For this example, we are using the U.S. gallon. So we now write our equation. And there is our equation. We have 10.0 kilometers per liter. And we're asked to convert this into the units miles per gallon, which is the reverse of uh, the other video earlier. So we have your two blanks, meaning we need these two equivalent statements in the conversion factor form for us to calculate this equation. So to s we now convert this equivalent statements into the corresponding conversion factor. Starting with the first one, obviously, we need to cancel out the unit in kilometers first in the numerator in the given. So the unit kilometers in the first conversion factor should be in our denominator and that is written as this one okay so if one mile is equal to 1.609 kilometers as you can see the unit in the given in the kilometer is in the numerator it should be in the denominator for the conversion factor for it to cancel out there so we're now left with the unit miles per liter but the question is we need to report the unit in miles per gallon so we need to convert the liter into gallon and that is with our next conversion factor. Alright, so when I have written this equivalent statement into the proper form of the conversion factor, uh, identifying that the units should be properly placed for them to cancel out since the unit liter in the given is in the de denominator, it should be in the numerator in our conversion factor for it to cancel out. So we need to cancel them out. We are now left with the un desired units, miles per gallon. So we now do the calculation to give us our answer, which is equal to 23.523 miles per gallon. And as always, we need to report in the proper number of significant figures. So we need to go back with a given, which has three significant figures. So our final answer should only contain three significant figures. And looking at our answer, the, fa the correct and final answer should be 23.5 miles per gallon because the n digit after 5 was just 2, so we don't need to add one more for in the digit of our 5. So that is our final answer. Sorry for that. There. And that's all for this. Thank you for listening and continue learning.